In the 2024 NHL Draft, the first defenseman to be selected could certainly be Artyom Levshinov. He has the much desired right hand shot and he's got great size. He's already 6'2 and is nearly 200 pounds. His birthday is in late October and he is from Belarus. Levshinov came over to North America last season. He played in the USHL and put up 42 points in 62 games played. He had 13 goals and 29 assists. Owen Power was drafted first overall in 2021 and Levshinov just put up two more points than Power in his draft minus one season. The 24 draft class should have plenty of defensemen selected in the top 10, but so far the consensus seems to be that Levshinov is the best defender available. If you're new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe. And if you can leave a like, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to be covering the 2024 draft class all season long. So if your team ends up in the basement this year, then you know where to be. I also want to shout out the next great hockey blog on Instagram. We made a sweet collaboration post on there. So you'll want to check out his page sometime. I'll leave the links to both of our Instagram pages in the description below. You can also follow me on the gram at James Miller Hockey. Lev Shinov is gearing up for his rookie season in the NCAA. He's committed to Michigan State University. The 24 draft class seems to be pretty deep. Lev Shinov could compete for first overall this year, but the competition is fierce. So far, I would probably rank him at about third or fourth overall. Getting a potential franchise defenseman would be fantastic value around that spot. As far as I'm concerned, it seems to be a four-way race between Levshinov, Celebrini, Iserman, and Demidov. It is going to be epic seeing these players battle for first overall. The name of Levshinov's game would be Balance. Every franchise craves a huge defenseman who can nearly do it all. His offensive ability already seems like a sure thing, but his defensive ability is something that still needs to evolve. Still though, the potential ceiling is fascinating. Translating to the North American ice is never an easy thing to accomplish. I would say that Levshinov handled himself pretty well during his first season here. He played for Green Bay in the USHL, and you could see him adapting and finding comfort as the season went on. He didn't start the season on the penalty kill, but by the end of the year, he was a staple for his team when they were shorthanded. Levshinov did finish the season as one of the best penalty killers in the league. In his own zone, you can expect this beast to be physically engaged. He's a strong skater, and this helps him all over the ice. His mobility is exciting, his lateral movements are impressive. Levshinov is huge, so players struggle to find their way around him. He's very dialed in his own zone and knows how to break up plays. You'll see him disturb the opposition with his stick. He's got that long reach too, which comes in handy. He knows how to regain possession, and when he's got the puck in his own zone, he sure does know how to move it down the ice. It's elite vision that this young stud has. He does a great job reading his teammates, and he always seems to make the right choice with his passes. His transitional play is really strong, but he's not afraid to go for a nice skate and get the job done himself. He moves so well and fast, his puck protection skills are impactful, he's a force once he gets moving. Levshinov has great skill, and you'll see him beat defenders often. He's a pretty flashy defenseman with good hands. You'll see plenty of sweet tricks up his sleeve. It's common to see him head into the offensive zone with confidence and make a difference. He walks the line with swagger. His shot is elite. This is a serious cannon with amazing accuracy. His offensive awareness is so beneficial for his team. His timing and patience is so on point. He's good along the boards. He'll fight to make things right. He battles to keep plays alive. Levshinov is consistent with doing all of the little things to make sure his team maintains puck possession in the offensive zone. His IQ is really good and he knows when to jump into the play during key moments. Levshinov does have all of the key ingredients to become a franchise defenseman someday. His game is full of details that every coach will admire. 
We're looking at a defenseman that could have some high goal scoring seasons. Seriously, he could probably have some seasons finishing in the 20s. His offensive ability is sky high. The potential is fantastic. The way he makes a quick flashy move and then releases a fast accurate shot is promising. It's like he has five eyes. He does such a good job at reading his teammates, the opponents, and the goaltender all at the same time. This shot has a lot of upside, and it's amazing to see him consistently picking the right spot to shoot the puck. I love the wrist shot that he has. It's also great to see his effective shot from afar. His slap shot from the point is a game breaker. He just has what it takes to be a very versatile goal scoring defenseman. The playmaking talent ability that he has to offer is also pretty special. A lot of the things he does just comes natural to him. He's a great passer, the fantastic hockey IQ and awareness comes in handy for him. He knows how to thread the needle and hook up his teammates with a lethal pass. When he has the puck on his stick, it can certainly feel like all eyes are on him. It takes a special player to be able to handle pressure with ease Levshinov can protect the puck in crucial moments and then find a way to sauce the puck away to safety. This leads to keeping the play alive or even better, creating a dangerous goal scoring chance. When you consider all of the aspects of his game, you do come to realize that he is a very special prospect. Levshinov could debatably be the most exciting defenseman prospect since Rasmus Dahlin. He's also already adapting to the North American ice at a younger age than Dahlin, which could help Levshinov possibly having a more successful rookie season than Dahlin's. With that being said, it would be a massive challenge. Levshinov still has a long way to go, but as of right now, the potential is sky high for so many different reasons. What's important right now is absolutely lighting up the NCAA and making his case to be drafted as high as possible. I do have a few questions today, so be sure to drop a comment and let me know what you're thinking. I'm wondering, do you believe Levshinov makes a serious case to be drafted first overall? Do you think Levshinov could become a better defenseman than Owen Power? Could he possibly even surpass somebody like Rasmus Dahlin? Or would he be more so in between Dahlin and Power? As I've said, Levshinov should be the first defenseman drafted in the 24 class, but there's plenty of other elite defenders in this class, and I certainly will be covering them all. If you liked what you saw today, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you all for tuning in today, and I'll see you all next time.